it might come as a surprise to you but anyone can switch off your phone even if it is locked well except samsung phones cerberus lock screen is a must have app for every smartphone user out there as its main function is to not let anyone switch off your phone without entering the lock screen password first so if someone steals your phone they won't be able to switch it off and you'll be able to track your phone all you have to do is grant the device admin access and turn on the block power off menu and you're done you can also block quick settings so no one can just turn off wi-fi and mobile data or change any other settings before unlocking the phone samsung phones already have this as an inbuilt feature so even if you have an iphone or any other android phone you should download this app and i'm going to share nine other apps in this video which are incredibly useful and i use them on a regular basis and if you're new here i'm shatej you are watching once upon a techie and let's now continue with our apps list Let's be real. We are all addicted to social media and it's almost automatic to just open Instagram or Twitter when we are bored. Half the time, we don't even realize we are doing it. One sec is an app that helps break this habit. When you try to open the app you want to cut down on, one sec pops up with a prompt giving you a few seconds to think again if you really want to use the app. All you have to do is open one sec app and click add apps and select the app that you want to cut down on and it really works. It has helped me cut down on my screen time and I think it will help you too. If you like one sec, you will appreciate stop scroll. It takes things a step further by tackling the endless scrolling through short videos. We've all been there, mindlessly scrolling through Instagram reels, YouTube shorts, and even LinkedIn has a short form video feed now. Can you believe that? It lets you set daily limits for watching these videos or even block them entirely if you prefer. Once you hit your daily limit, it prevents you from watching any more reels or shorts on any app. What's great is that you can still use other parts of the app. It just stops you from getting sucked into that video feed. It's been a real game changer for me, helping me reduce the endless scrolling. Tired of too many junk photos in your gallery? Check out Sponge. This app makes it super easy to clean and organize your photos and videos with just a swipe. Imagine it as a matchmaker for your photos. So swipe left to delete those unwanted blurry shots and swipe right to keep the memories that matter. Sponge organizes your gallery by month and not by folders, making the process even easier. So after swiping right and left, making the selection, you just have to confirm at the end to delete the selected photos and you're done. It's a fun and efficient way to keep your gallery tidy and save that phone storage which most of us struggle these days. Want to make sure you're getting the best deal when you're shopping online? Check out Price History, the all-in-one tracking and shopping app. This app lets you track prices for products from multiple sites like Amazon, Flipkart, Mintra and more. It basically shows you historic prices of the product so you can see if a sale is really a good deal or not. So you just have to search for the product, select it and then select track and you'll be able to see all the previous prices. You can also set alerts for price drops for multiple products to buy them at the best price. Should definitely come in handy this Diwali sale. It's perfect for keeping an eye on prices and making sure you buy at the right time. Need a quick way to share files between devices? Check out LocalSend. Unlike AirDrop for iPhones and QuickShare for Android, LocalSend supports cross-platform sharing. So what I mean by that is, you can share between an iPhone and an Android, an Android and a Windows laptop, a Windows laptop and a Mac OS. You get the idea, right? This app lets you send and receive files like photos, videos and documents over your local Wi-Fi network and no internet connection is needed. It's perfect for sharing files with friends and family nearby or transferring files between your own devices quickly. Just connect your devices to the same Wi-Fi network and you're good to go. Need an easy way to keep track of things? Check out Notely. This app lets you create a note right in your phone's notification panel. To create a notification, just open the app Tap the new note button and add a title. You can even choose a specific color if you want. You can also schedule notifications to appear at specific times or set them to repeat daily, every few hours or as per your need. When you're done with the task, just mark it as done or swipe it away. If you accidentally dismiss a notification, you can find it in the archive page and reactivate it. Notally is perfect for keeping you on track if you heavily rely on phone's notification for important stuff. When we are getting slow Wi-Fi speeds, it's often because one of our device is updating apps in the background or maybe someone's using a Wi-Fi without permission. And that's where Ping comes in. This app lets you easily see how many devices are connected to your Wi-Fi network. With Ping, you can quickly check who's on your network, which can help you spot if there are any unknown users. 
it also gives you detailed info about each device like their IP and MAC addresses so you can figure out if any of them might be causing issues. It's a handy tool for keeping your network in check and making sure everything's running smoothly. And I think this is a must have app as we have so many devices lying around which might be unnecessarily consuming the Wi-Fi data. Need a faster way to get things done on your phone? Check out QuickShot. This app lets you create shortcuts on your home screen and even in quick setting styles. You can make shortcuts for apps, phone settings, files, or anything else. Just open the app and select, let's say, tiles. Tap create tile, select app, and then an app from your app list. And that's it. You can customize your shortcuts with different icons, backgrounds, colors, and even group them together for easy access. It also lets you try out your shortcuts before putting them on your home screen. And you can always modify them later. It's perfect for someone lazy out there and making your phone work better for you. Next up is Ampere Flow, a sleek app that turns your phone's always on display into a detailed charging monitor. When you set it up, you will have a few customization options to explore. After granting the required permissions, just connect your phone to a charger and your always on display will not only show the time and date, but also provide a real-time charging meter with live amp readings. You'll also get an accurate battery percentage display along with useful details like your phone's current temperature and an estimate of how long until your battery is fully charged. It's definitely worth a try. All of these apps are available on Android. Now, most of them are on iOS too, but for those that are not, there are alternatives available. Drop a comment and I'll help you out with their links. I promise all the features of the apps that I told you are free and you can unlock more features if you are willing to pay. Also, let me know which app you like the most and will be installing straight away. So if you found this video helpful, do like the video, subscribe to the channel and share if it can be helpful to someone you know. It really helps the channel. Thanks for watching Once Upon a Techie and I'll see you in the next one.